And Jesus went out from the temple and was going on his way. And his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. But he answered and said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he said on the Mount of Olivet, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when will these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world. Something a lot of people miss when they look at this passage is that the disciples are asking three completely separate questions. When will these things be, talking about the destruction of the temple, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, talking about his return, and of the end of the world, talking about the end of this world system. In the Gospel of Matthew, he doesn't record Jesus' answer to number one. He jumps straight into answers for number two and number three, what will be the sign of his coming and of the end of this world system. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So Jesus is talking about the end of the world, so it makes sense that everything that he's saying is going to be affecting the world globally. So he describes war, world war, whole nation against whole nation, kingdom against kingdom. He describes famines, world hunger, in other words. He describes pestilences, world sicknesses affecting the world globally. He describes earthquakes in diverse places. In other words, major earthquakes striking the world at an increase like we've never seen. So Jesus says it will be like the days of Noah before the flood when men were eating, drinking, marrying, etc. Exactly like the days of the flood. Well, recall in the story, Genesis 6-3, God gave us exactly 120 years from the time of the warning of impending doom to the exact time that the flood came and destroyed them. So in 1914, for the first time in the history of the world, World War I broke out. That's my grandfather's lifetime, and we had World War II. And pretty much every war ever since has affected the world globally. Now Jesus used the word here, ethnos against ethnos, which is where we get our word ethnicity, talking about racial war, racial tension. And pretty much that's all that uh, World War II was about, was a racial war. Jesus described an increase in world hunger from 2016 to 2022, we saw an increase from only 108 million around the world starving to well over 276 million in just a six year period. Next, pestilences and plagues. Yes, we've had sickness and disease throughout all of human history, but none of them are in comparison to anything that we've experienced after the turn of the 20th century. For example, in 1918 and 1920, we experienced the Spanish flu. When all the death toll was taken, it had taken the lives of well over 100 million people. The bubonic plague in the 1960s took over 15 million people. There's the H2N2 virus of 1958, which took over 4 million lives. The H3N2 virus of 1968, 4 million lives. AIDS and HIV, which has taken over 43 million lives. And there's this pandemic still ongoing, which has taken over 35 million lives. Finally, Jesus described an increase of earthquake activity around the world. Again, you might be inclined to say, well, we've always had earthquakes throughout all of human history, but and that's true. But have you considered that the National Geologic Survey has recorded that from 1982 to 2011, the number of catastrophic earthquakes worldwide that affected the world globally has increased more than three times. It's literally tripled in the number of earthquakes each year. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm not being a date setter at all here. Jesus said no one would know the day or the hour. But what I'm saying is, Jesus did say that the last days would be as the days of Noah were before the flood. In Genesis 6, 3, God said he would only strive with men for 120 years. From the time of the very first sign of the end times that Jesus gave, which began in 1914 with World War I, if we count forward 120 years, that puts the end of the age around 2034. If we figure the rapture of the church takes place seven years before that, we're looking at 2027 or around that era of time. What am I saying? I'm saying that time could be really close, my friend. It's time to quit playing church. It's time to quit playing with your soul. It's time to get right with Jesus and don't be left behind.